Oh, hi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Marry My Husband, episode 10, 11, and 12. And if you guys enjoy my webtoon reading style and reaction, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and let's get started. Who cares? Whatever. I already died and can't come back from the dead. Ms. Yang, about the proposal. I'm the only one who knows about this rule. Don't write it again. When the past is altered, listen carefully to what I'm about to say. The future is altered too. Marry my husband, episode 10. What do you mean? Why are you telling me not to rewrite it? You don't have to change the content of the proposal. Just use a different font and move things around a bit and resubmit it. Mr. Kim doesn't read the proposals anyways. But I can't just give him the same one again. Trust, trust me. If he throws a fit saying you brought him the same one, I'll rewrite it for you. <laughs> and say you wrote it, of course. Alright. If he says something, I'll just tell him I accidentally copy-pasted it. I didn't expect you to tell me to do something like this. Okay, and here. What's this? Materials for the proposal? No, a voice recorder. Every time Mr. Kim says something inappropriate, get it on tape. So it's not a USB. Thank you, Jiwon. But I can't do that to him. I heard he's he did so much work while I was on maternity leave. Who told you that? While you were on leave, I took on more than half of your workload. <sighs> and the rest was divided up among the team. As for Mr. Kim, he threw a lot of papers on the ground. Redo it! I knew it. Just pretend like you don't know anything and record him whenever you can. It'll come in handy soon. Do a better job, okay? <sighs> yes, sir. Is Hyun his next target? If my memory is correct, Hyun ended up moving to another department shortly after. <sighs> because of Mr. Kim, of course. He always acts like he's a boss whenever Mr. Yu isn't around. Just you wait, Yoon Yu Kim. Miss Yang won't be the one leaving this company. It'll be you. Oh, he's just so gross. You know, it's funny because I literally met people that looks just like this person here. <laughs> They're real. The next day. This one sucks too. Rewrite this whole thing, Miss Yang. The next day. No, you still got it wrong. You, I gave you plenty of time. Why can't you get it right? Three days later. Redo it. Four days later. Again! Whoosh. A week later. This one isn't bad. Make a few copies and hand them out to everyone who will be attending the meeting. And give the original copy to Mr. Yu. I'm not going to give you another chance. You know that performance evaluations are coming up, right? Get it together, okay? Yes, Mr. Kim. I guess he never read any of the proposals. All I did was change the fonts and rearrange some of the sections. Jiwon was right. Ding! Okay, I'll give Mr. Yu the proposal. Please just make copies for the team members. Juan's going to give Mr. Yu the proposal, but I have the original copy. I don't know what she's up to, but I'm sure she has a plan. This is the proposal you approved, Mr. Yu. We'll be reviewing it today. Phew. All right, please prepare for the meeting. Oh, Hyun went to buy some coffee, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, Hyun went to buy coffee. Oh, ice americanos. What's the occasion? This is great. My stomach doesn't respond well to instant coffee in the morning. You're the best, Hyun. I was feeling thirsty. Thanks. <laughs> Don't mention it. It's Mr. Yu's treat. What's this? Who the hell brought bought these coffees? I did. <laughs> Why do you look so proud? The coffee from the cafe is gross and expensive. Who would drink this stuff so early in the morning? There's a bunch of western coffee in the pantry. You're just a temp. How dare you use a company card without permission? Mr. Kim, uh, I gave her my card. 
Oh, I thought she used the company cards to buy them. <laughs> it was my personal credit card. I don't like instant coffee, so I asked her to buy some from the cafe. Mr. Yu have Hyun his Mr. Yu gave Hyun his personal credit card? No one's ever used his personal card to buy coffee before. <laughs> Let's begin the me meeting. This project is based on Mrs. Yang's proposals, right? Yes, Mr. Yu. The proposal the proposal outlines the packaging options for the new products line and marketing plan. Well-being has been a popular buzzword these days, so I incorporated it into the U and K Foods main product line, home meal and replacements. These are healthy meals that are easy to cook and target single to two-person households. For the packaging, I went with a paper bag shape so that it stands out among other colorful products made by different companies. The ingredients list is on the page three, and the sample packaging is on page five. Wait, Miss Yang. I think I have the wrong version. Page 3 has the pa sample packaging, not the ingredient list. Huh, Ms. Yang, I told you to give him the original copy! I'm sorry, Mr. Yu, I think I gave you the one one of the versions that Mr. Kim rejected. Huh, <laughs> Mr. Yu, here, uh, you can take a look at my copy. What are you doing? Go give Mr. Yu a new copy! Wait. Ms. Yang, are you sure the proposal was rejected? Yes. The new version was the uh, ingredient list on the page three. Mr. Kim, why did you turn down her previous proposal? Because she didn't get anything right. I guess she was in a hurry or something. Her first proposal was a hodgepodge and things had that she had found online. Uh, so I had her rewrite it several times. Today's version wasn't bad, so I decided to approve it. Several times? Except for the order and placement of certain sections, the content of both versions are identical. Huh? Did you even read her proposal before deciding to reject or approve it? What? What? What's going on, Miss Yang? Are you playing tricks on me? Uh, I'm sorry. The first proposal was written by Mrs. Yang, and the proposal you're looking at now was written by me. What are you talking about, Miss King? Ms. Yang was feeling under the weather, so I offered to help, and I ended up just using her proposal because I thought that she had given me reference materials. Ms. Yang had to submit my version to Mr. Kim since she didn't have enough time to redo it. It was also my mistake for giving you the first version, Mr. Yu. I apologize. This is ridiculous, Mrs. Kang. How could you make such a huge mistake? And Ms. Yang should have asked for more time and submitted a revised version. Mr. Kim. Why are you placing all the blame on Miss Kang and Miss Yang? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I was so tired that I was confused, but confused with two versions. <sighs> How can you make such a huge mistake? I'm so sorry, sir. It won't happen again. You don't have to apologize to me. Please submit a written apology to by tomorrow. That glare. Uh, Mr. Yu? I'm sorry, Mr. Yu. Here's a new proposal. That's all right. It's all right. Oh, and from now on, there's no need to get Mr. Kimber approval first. Bring all proposals straight to me. Let's continue with our meeting. Please go ahead, Miss Yang. Oh. Mmm, victory! Good work today, everyone. That was scary, but I'm glad everything worked out. I hope Miss Yang doesn't quit. From Miss Yang. Thanks, ji -won. I won't have to worry so much about Mr. Kim anymore. Ding. Huh? What the heck? Su Min Yoon. ji -won, you didn't forget about this Sunday, right? Sunday? What did I agree to? Whatever, I'll just say I can't make. Oops. Wait. Sunday? It's a day I wanted to erase from my memory. The day of my high school reunion. What happened? Wait. Sunday. It's the day I wanted to erase from my memory. The day of my high school reunion. So people were bullying her. Marry my husband, episode 11. Suman said she wanted to take me to a famous restaurant that day. 
What the? What is Jiwon King doing here? The earrings. Ew. <laughs> she probably asked Suman if she'd come too. Oh, she's so shameless. <laughs> no one wants to see her. Why the hell did she come? Ugh, look at her. Earring. <laughs> I guess she copied Suman's look. They look terrible on her. She's still such a loser. I brought my best friend's G1 with me. <laughs> I couldn't let her miss her our reunion. I, I have to go to the restroom. <laughs> Suman is nice to a fault. She used to take care of Jiwon all throughout high school, even though she got backstabbed. And she still hangs out with her even after getting a job. But I bet Jiwon takes Suman for granted. If I were Suman, I would have cut ties with Jiwon a long time ago. Well, if I were Suman, I wouldn't have been friends with her in the first place. You remember how mean Jiwon was to Suman in high school? Hang on, Jia. Didn't Jiwon say she was going to the restroom? Alright. Let's go. Which bar are we going to next? Ugh. I was in a bathroom stall all alone for about 30 minutes. By the time I returned to the table, everyone had left. Even Suman. And at that moment, Joan King! You know, Big? Miss King! Just... What are you thinking about? Oh, just work stuff. You're such a workaholic. You should take your mind off of work once in a while. <laughs> so, do you have plans on Sunday? I heard Garrel Sigu is pretty popular this day. Want to go check it out? Oh, I have dinner plans. Oh, I promised to meet Suman on Sunday. Why don't we meet up earlier in the day and take a look around? <laughs> sure. Oh, sounds great. Then Sunday it is. I'll plan the perfect day out. Huh? That lipstick looks just like the one I saw in Mr. Yu's car. They're dating? No. That's right. There were rumors that they were dating. Hugh Yoon even used his personal credit card the day at the other day. Is she really Mr. Yu's girlfriend? They're complete opposites, though. Cold, cheerful. But I guess he fell for her so, since she's such a lovable person. <laughs> I'm already looking forward to our date on Sunday, Miss King. All the new hot new shops are in Garosugu these days. Really, I've never been there before, so I don't really know the neighborhood. Don't worry, I'm a regular at one of the hair salons there, so I'm familiar with the area. Are the two of you going somewhere this weekend? Mr. Yu? Yes, we're going somewhere. Zoom. Is it okay for us to just leave like this? I guess Hyun really is secretly dating Mr. Yu. <laughs> Sunday afternoon. Miss Jiyo and Kang, here are the contact lenses you ordered. I can't go to the reunion looking like this. I should try something new. I hope they don't hurt. <laughs> uh, Hyun, huh? Miss Kang! You're early. You're wearing contacts? You look so gorgeous. It's like a, you're like a different person. <laughs> Do I look better with contacts? It's my first time wearing them. Yes, of course. Even celebrities look better in contacts. You're right. I think the same is also true for men. I saw Mr. Yu without his glasses the other day and he looked much more handsome. <laughs> what? Does she have a problem with me complimenting her boyfriend? Anyway. I have a lot of plans for you for today, Miss King. <laughs> plans? Is this is this the friend you made a reservation for, Hyun? Ooh, beauty. She's my boss. She's my favorite coworker. Really, it's rare to see someone come into the hair salon with the, their boss. You look like you have healthy hair, so the perm will come out great. So you have a particular hair style in mind? Scanning in progress. Just. Whatever you think will look good on me. Okay, a perm that will, will complement your features. A perm. Snap. Blah. I'll do your hair first and then makeup. Uh, let's begin. First, let's start with a trim. I think you look better with thick, thicker curls. While your perm is setting, let's get started with the makeup. I'm going to go, go with a natural and sophisticated look. 
And now we'll blow dry your hair. What do you think, Miss Kang? Do you like it? Uh, yes. Oh my gosh, you look like a goddess. Oh, the curls and the makeup looks perfect. Is this really me? Really? Ring call. Hey, Suman. Jiwon, you did forget about, about our dinner plans, right? Make sure to wear the earrings I got for you. Oh, you mean the one that looks terrible on me? All right, I'll make sure to wear them. She's going to marry my sh her ex-husband instead of me. If she wants me to wear them, I'll wear them. <laughs> Hyun, do you want to go shopping? <laughs> sure. We don't even know how she looks like. It's been so long, Jie. Wow, Suman, you look fabulous. I heard you got into a major company. I got lucky. Jiwon was really supportive throughout the whole process. <laughs> what the hell? Do you still hang out with Jiwon Kang? <laughs> you got hurt because of her, remember? I'm okay. It's all in the past. <sighs> Stop being so nice. What is she up to these days? <laughs> Does she still wear those weird clothes and dirty glasses? Come on, she looks so much prettier now. And she'll be here soon. What? Why is she coming? Why is she coming here? Because it's our high school reunion. Of course she should come. Let me call her and see where she is. Hey, hey, Suman. Jiwon, I'm inside the restaurant. Where are you? If you're having trouble finding the place, I'll come get you. Oh, it's okay. I'm already here. Oh. Hey, guys. Wow. It's been a while. <laughs> Holy moly. Hey, Simon. Juwan, I'm inside the restaurant. Where are you? If you're having trouble finding the place, uh, I'll come get you. Oh, it's okay. I'm already here. <gasps> hey, guys. It's been a while. Hot mama damn. <laughs> Marry my husband, episode 12. J do you want? I saw a banner outside for our high school reunion. What's going on? I thought the two of us were having dinner. <laughs> oh, um, su surprise. My surprise was a success, huh? Say hello to everyone. Guys, I invited Juan. I wouldn't let her miss the reunion. She's my best friend. What the heck? You're Jiwon Kang, the girl who used to wear those dorky glasses? You look gorgeous now. Oh, uh, wow, I almost didn't recognize you. Uh, who are you? Uh, I guess I'm, I've become pretty attractive over the years, too. Uh, it's me, Taesong. Taesong Kim. Da -dun. Yo, dork face. <laughs> Taesong Kim, the guy who used to pick on me all the time. Oh, you guys have the same earrings. Is it because you guys are friends? You look perfect on Jiwon. She looks, since she's so pretty. But Suman, you look like a kid wearing their mom's jewelry. That's so mean. Oh yeah, are you seeing anyone, Jiwon? <sighs> Give me your number so I can call you sometimes. She has no conscience. Obviously not. I'm going to the restroom. Damn, Jiwon looks so hot. I guess people have a glow up when they start living in Seoul. You didn't give me- you didn't give me your number yet! <sighs> nah, man. Look at Suman. She looks sad like a kid. What the hell? Jiwon. When did you get a makeover? I was sitting in the third stall from the left. It's been ten years, but I still remember it like it was yesterday. Suman, I need to know what you said about me behind my back. Why your friends hated me so much? You remember how mean Jiwon was to Suman in high school? Hang on, Jie. And what they were going to say that day. That's why I decided to revisit this awful memory. <sighs> Ding. Oops, I should have put it in silent mode. Mr. Yu, what are you up to? Mr. Yu texting her. It's the weekend. Is there something urgent I have to take care of? I'm at a high school reunion. Do you need me to take care of something? Tut tut. Chuan Kang has some nerve. Stuff. No one wants to see her. What the hell did she come? 
I bet she asked Suman if she could come to the reunion to show off her fake designer pan bag and her plastic surgery face. <laughs> I mean, it looked like she totally bought the same earring as Suman to copy her look. Suman is nice to a fault. If I were Suman, I would have cut ties with Juan a long time ago. Well, if I were Suman, I wouldn't have been friends with her in the first place. <sighs> you remember how mean Juan was in, to Suman in high school? Hey, Aunt Jie. No. Didn't Ji Jiwon say she was uh, going to the restroom? I can't keep running away like a fool. Creep. All right, let's hear what you have to say. What did I do in s to Suman in high school? Are you playing dumb right now? Have you seriously had no shame? You probably heard Suman using the same tactic. It involved Yunho Bae. Does that jog your memory? Yunho Bae. You knew Suman had a crush on Yuhon, but you stopped her from telling him because you had feelings for him. Did you really have to do that to your friend over a guy? No. Did you think that you had dibs on Yuhon because he talked to you a few times? You got it all wrong. The person who had a crush on Yuho all throughout, all throughout high school. I'm sorry, Yuhon. I just thought I should tell you. Yuhon said he likes me. I don't have feelings for him though. It wasn't Suman. It was me. I did have feelings for you and the whole bake, but Suman never told me she had a crush on him, and I never stopped her from telling him her feelings. Those things never happened. You probably forgot all about them. Suman was in so much pain. It's also why she bombed her college entrance exam while you got into a good college in Seoul. If you feel even in even an ounce of guilt, just leave Suman alone, okay? Hey, Suman just got into you and K. There's no way she's gonna leave her alone. She probably clung to Suman again, hoping to gain something. Excuse me? Look, about that you and K job, Suman got in because I wrote her a recommendation. And of course, she was hired as a contract worker. Huh? What? Snatch. Marketing department. One. Assistant manager, G1 Kang. What the? Is this true? But Suman said she was hired through open recruitment. As you can see, I was busy working, so I had no time to get plastic surgery. And you're the one who bought, brought a fake designer handbag, GA. Not me. Uh, I bought this at the department store. It's not fake. Stop making false accusations. <gasps> yeah, apologize, GA. You guys should be the ones to apologize to me. You bullied me all throughout high school based on the lies Suman told you. You didn't even bother checking the facts and gossip behind my back. You didn't know for sure if anything she said was true or not. I apologize for saying your handbag is fake if you bring me the receipt. You're really pissing me off. Why? Is it because you feel like you're going, you're being wrongly accused? Well, I'm pissed that I've been wrongly accused all these years. If you don't believe me, go ask Suman. I'm going to go now. It was good catching up. I hope we never see each other again. Slap. Yes, queen! Finally, she has a backbone! Suman Jiun. So that's what you were saying behind my back. I was bullied in high school. All because of the lies you told. Jiwon, oh, what are you doing here? Oh, I was just talking to some of the girls. You were talking to some of the girls? About what? About you. You should go inside. Jiwon, where are you going? Yoon Ho Bae. He was one of the most popular kids in school and the student president. Everything around him shined brightly, and that's why I liked him. You didn't really see the blackboard from there. You should sit in the seat starting now. This seat starting tomorrow, because unlike me, he radiated warmth. That's what you thought of me? Of course, he was disgusted when I told him about my feelings and. Not long after that, he told Suman he had feelings for her, but it's all in the past now. It looks like Yuan didn't come to the reunion. It's better this way. Yeah, I just got here. He probably looks even more handsome now. Are you sure she came? Hey, yeah, man, she's a total knockout now. You'd be shocked, man. She's not the dork face we used to know. Dude, she was pretty back then too. Pull yourself together, Jiwon. Uh, why are you crying right now? You probably won't recognize her either. Wait. Jiwon Kane? Jiwon! 
my first love. You know Bei. I knew it was you, Jiwan. Finally, I've been looking all over for you. You! That's what you thought of me? A memory I don't want to remember. Why did I have to run into him right now? Wait, Jiwan! I came to the reunion to see you. I just need a minute of your time. Can we talk? Well, well, just the person we're looking for. Hey, Suman Jiwan. We need to talk. Whew. Oh crud, it's a freaking cliffhanger. Oh, it's getting so freaking good. Look, G1 is finally have a backbone. She is confronting all her bullies from the past. She knows, you know, she knows her past, so she knows what's gonna happen, right? So she's carefully like playing her chess piece, right? Now Suman is about to get her her karma and oh my god it's a it's a freaking cliffhanger anyways guys if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments on what you think is gonna happen next and i'll catch you guys next time bye